This is Akara. Come along with me as I share with you how to make Akara with beans flour. I'd also share with you how to make Akara with palm oil. And if you're interested in learning about how to make beans flour, I'll share that with you as this video continues. But first, I'll start this Akara process by adding some beans flour into a bowl. And then I'll proceed to add water. I'll mix the beans flour with water until I get a thick and smooth paste with no lumps so on how to make beans flour the first thing to do when making beans flour is to get your dried beans you can use white beans you can use brown beans by brown beans i mean you can use olotu or oloe beans any one that you have so the first thing to do is to soak the beans in water for about five minutes the reason for this is to soften the skin of the beans so that it will be easy for you to peel off the skin of the beans after about 5 minutes, you peel off the skin of the beans either by hand or with your blender. Once you're sure that the skin of the beans have been properly peeled, you sieve out the peeled skin and then if you are in a hot climate, you proceed to sun dry the beans. But if you have a food dehydrator, that makes it even easier and better for you. You dry the peeled beans in your dehydrator until it is very very dry. Once your beans is very very dry, the next thing for you to do is to blend the beans into powder form. And voila, that is it. You have made your beans powder or beans flour as many people call it. So now I have mixed my beans with water and this is the bean paste that I have achieved. Now I'll set this aside and I'll proceed with the other ingredients for this Akara recipe. I'll be using some cayenne pepper. The difference between cayenne pepper and scotch bonnet pepper is cayenne pepper is not as hot as scotch bonnet pepper. And now that I'm done slicing the cayenne pepper, I would move forward in this recipe by slicing my onions as well. You can choose to cut your onions to any size you want. And you can choose not to use onions at all. I'm aware that some people do not like to see onions in their food. So you can skip the onions part if you are one of such people. And if you've watched this video to this point, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video, leave your comment, share this video and subscribe to this channel thank you now that i'm done with this it's time for frying i'll pour my palm oil into my frying pan and then i'll allow the oil to get very very hot as this video continues i'll show you the stages that palm oil passes through before it gets really hot you can see the various changes in the palm oil well i had to take the cooker aside to show you this next step so into that bean paste i just added some salt and i'm adding my onions i'd also add the peppers that i cut earlier and then the next thing i will do is i'll mix everything up very very well until i get a smooth and silky paste the reason i will be mixing very well is to ensure that i incorporate everything i just added properly into the bean paste to give it that lovely taste and flavor that i want as this video continues if you've watched this video to this point i have to say this anyway i know you are enjoying this video that's why you've watched this video to this point so if you're yet to subscribe to this channel why not subscribe because i have so many recipes for you especially if you are interested in learning more about nigerian dishes and how to prepare them I have a wide variety of Nigerian foods and Nigerian dishes that you will like. And if you just love watching African food cooking videos, you're in the right place. So, as you can see, I'm mixing my bean paste with the pepper, onions and salt. And you would notice a certain silkiness as I have continued to mix. Yes, it's because of the salt. Now that I'm done mixing, it's time to set aside and then I'll bring back my palm oil. I'll test the palm oil to see if it's hot enough by putting just a little bit of the bean paste. And as you can see, the akara floated immediately. So yes, this palm oil is ready to fry my akara. But then I have so much foam on this palm oil. Actually, there's nothing wrong with this foam. All I need to do is just um mix it a little bit and it will turn to palm oil quickly but because i really want you to see what i am frying i really want you to follow the process step by step that's why i'm removing this foam so that you can actually see what i am doing 
if you are a newcomer here <laughs> welcome i hope you like what you're saying and if you are my loyal viewer thank you for watching this video now that i have successfully cleared the full i proceed to add or put the akara paste into the palm oil now let me tell you one of the reasons why frying akara with palm oil is not common it's because of this smoke you know back in the day when cooking was largely done outside in the open people had open kitchen it was very easy for free flow of air so you would not be bothered with the smoke but because nowadays we cook in our kitchens and our kitchens are usually enclosed spaces it's very easy to trigger off your fire alarm when you are frying with palm oil because palm oil is naturally smoky especially when it gets hot and this is one of the reasons why many people shy away from frying akara with palm oil but i guarantee that if you fry your akara with palm oil it has this lovely distinctive taste that you will love it's nice, it's delicious, and it is yummy. Now that I'm done with putting the akara into the hot oil, it's time to turn the akara to the other side just to ensure that both sides are properly fried. And as soon as I'm done frying both sides, by the way, I fried each, I fried the first side for two minutes on medium heat. And now I'm frying the other side for one minute on medium heat the reason why it's on medium heat is because if i fry on high heat the akara would burn and it will not be properly cooked on the inside so it's important to fry on medium heat also we have to remember that palm oil gets really smoky and the smoke sometimes is not so good so to fry akara with palm oil you need to fry it with medium heat or fry it on medium heat as you can see i'm turning my akara and it's looking very nice it's looking well put together very delicious and very very lovely ah thank you so much for watching this video to this point i mean i'm happy that you're here with me and now that i'm done with frying my akara is properly fried i'll proceed to scoop out my akara from the hot oil and I'll scoop it into a basket or better still I'll scoop the akara into onto paper towels so that the paper towels can absorb the excess palm oil you see this recipe it may cause a little bit of mess in your kitchen but that's okay as long as you enjoy the good food it's fine we do the cleaning anyway we have to clean our kitchen all the time don't we so Cleaning should not stop us from enjoying the food that we love or trying new recipes that we may like. And I hope you try this recipe someday. And maybe you'll come back to the comment section and tell me you tried it and how you loved it. But here is what my akara looks like. It's delicious. It's nice. Till I see you in my next video.